Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me for this week's video. Uh, last week I uploaded the video for um, our little sort of ACC Plant 3D roundtable, and this week continuing on with some more ACC um, products is model coordination. Now this is similar to the desktop uh, application Navisworks with its Clash Detective. Um, but basically within ACC you uh, create a uh, sort of an area for all of these files to be clashed um, and then they will basically present themselves as um, as a clash on there between um, uh, itself uh, I think and other models now I've got a feeling I don't can't remember if it tests on its and if it clashes on itself um, but I have uh, drawn some pipe here that does uh, overlay itself so this is physically a piece of pipe that goes um, one across the other so we know that that's a clash and as well also what I've done is um, forced a clash with some structure uh, in here as well so I know that there is a definite clash uh, you can see there with the structure on that pipe so I am forcing these clashes so just to see um, uh, what happens in ACC uh, with the Plant 3D clashes. So we're going to see if this is something that you can use on a project um, to do clashing, obviously, uh, between offices uh, or, you know, someone that doesn't have Navisworks, for example, uh, or something along those lines. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check in all the files that I had open. Okay, and then I'm going to switch over to ACC. Now, I did make a coordination space in the root um, of the main Plant 3D Models folder. Um, I have also got some for each individual discipline, um, but for this exercise, I made one called Hold Whole Project. Uh, there is nothing special about that. We just went to create a coordination space, and I'll, I'll just do another one, uh, YouTube demo. Uh, and I'm going to put it again at the root of the Plant 3D directory there. Okay. So it creates the coordination space. And there you can see it there, full, full path. Uh, and if we click back up here on models, um, it is going to show us those clash results. Uh, for that last that whole project but what I'll do I'll switch to the YouTube demo one so this is the new one um, that we just created and give it a bit of time what I'm going to do is just fast forward this part until we actually get to some clash results All right, so you can see here that it's found some clashes. So we got two here under the piping, none for equipment, one for structure, and three for the second structural model. So if we go to the clashes, um, so nothing in there clashing. If we look at the two for piping, so it's found our piping clash against the structural model, which I guess that's pretty good. Um, clashing with group by object, so that's one, that's two. So if we expand that, we can see, so I guess what do we got? That beam, that column, and then that T with that beam, okay? So, but interestingly, it hasn't found the clash within itself. So, structural one to structural two. Okay, that's just some stairs that have been in there that are clashed. Okay, so if we go back to the models, so two in there, nothing else. Okay, so again, it's good for clashing against other models, 
unless I'm missing a button or something somewhere for it to clash within itself. Um, it doesn't look like it's clashing um, anything within itself. So the, that pipe that I forcibly put through the other pipe, um, it hasn't picked up in its own matrix there. So and there we go, we have an error as well. So interestingly, um, I guess you could probably use this for um, clashing you know, against other models, um, but within its own model, it, it looks like it just doesn't do it for the time being. Um, again, not exactly sure why. Um, maybe it's just the, the way it does it, but it looks like it's happy to clash against other models, um, but not their own. So take from that what you will. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any other things you want me to try here. I'm happy to give them a go, make them up as a video. Um, but as usual, please uh, leave a comment if you need to, uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see me do some more uh, Autodesk or BIM360, even Fusion. I haven't done Fusion for a while, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know how you go and I'll uh, see you next week. Thanks for watching. See ya.